YouTube, yeah, what the crap is going on? Air of Carthage back once again with more Carthage campaign footage. We will be um, assaulting Neophilus, which the AI seems to think has a wonderful chance of sustaining my assault. No idea where they're coming up with that, so let us go uh, teach them a lesson the old fashioned way, that is by the sword, spear, and javelin. Ought to be entertaining. These guys are going to die hardcore, and there is no other way to put it. They do have a lot of slingers. Uh, maybe if I stood there and let their slingers get rid of all their ammo, that might explain where they have a decent chance, but that isn't going to happen. Um, and I somehow doubt that their infantry is going to be able to withstand my assault long enough to uh, really use those slingers to any great effect. So basically what I'm going to do is just bum rush the town from every direction. Hoplites from one side. Okay, we need to take all of my infantry out of formation attack. Take these guys off fire at will and skirmish. Don't know, maybe we'll bring them in right here with my cab to support them. And then let's take my general over here. Okay, so here's what the overall setup looks like. Gonna come at the city from all sides. And obviously, this is gonna be a pretty simple strategy. Drive here and here with the main punch, and then use these for targets of opportunity. So, should be pretty simple. Alright, let's start the battle. There's actually not a real side entry here. I think I'm gonna have to... Oh wow, all the enemy units are right here for the time being. That's actually good because that's where my skirmishers are at, so let's go do some skirmishing. I'm just going to make a run, like a beeline for the town center right now with my hoplites. These units I'll split up once I get there. And let's bring my general in behind these units. Okay, let's use my javelin men. I'm going to target different Illyrian spear units with them. See what kind of damage I can do. Most of the Illyrian spear units seem to be right here, which is not where they're going to want to be, because that means my infantry is going to easily pierce through from the other directions. My javelin units now unloading their javelins into these Illyrian spearmen. Those guys have decent shields, but javelins have a nice armor piercing. I'm going to just bring my infantry up and then cab over here. So yeah, my javelins, I'm just going to let them turn loose here, to be honest. Okay, I'm going to need to take two units and charge through over here. Charge in there. Oh, jab one's accidentally getting engaged over here. I'm going to disengage. Go around over here. Yeah, these Illyrians are going to be in trouble now. I've got these guys. Of course, I was never concerned that I didn't. I'm going to try and get to all these slingers back here, because they are actually doing a fair deal of damage to my, to my infantry. I don't really know that I have a way to get to them, though. I don't. I've got to kill the enemy infantry and cavalry that's in here first. Which I will do. But I can charge them from behind with these hoplite units that are now in the town square. Let's see if I can scoot through here too. Yeah, those guys just ran it. Alright. These slingers are actually just wreaking havoc. Um, it's quite bad, actually. But if I can get in here and start getting into melee with them... units to him from this side. My Libyan infantry is breaking all the spearmen in this vicinity. These Libyan infantry are just getting shredded by slingers. The enemy general is dead. 
Enemy general dead. Slingers are really good in patch 7. In campaign, at least, and I can't talk about multiplayer right now, but I know they're not bad in multiplayer. I don't know if they're this good. There we go. Maybe the Slingers was the reason I was trying to tip them the balance of favor, but as you can see, they still lost massively. Uh, they did some damage to my units, but not enough to kill them. So Neopolis will easily be under our control once again, which I don't think is a big surprise to anybody. So I hope you all had a good Thanksgiving if you celebrate it. Um, if you don't, hope you had a just good week or weekend in general. Depends on when I've scheduled this to upload. I am recording it ahead of time because I will be out of town eating lots of turkey and ham. So if your country doesn't celebrate Thanksgiving, they should just for the fact that you get to eat lots of meat. Um, nothing wrong with that in my mind. <laughs> Alright, so let's take a look at the overall situation again. Let's get out on the campaign map. So Athens is under our control. Uh, Macedon still has... Oh, wow, man, the Seleucids, do they ever have some influence? They're all the way out of here into Asia Minor. Um, good grief. Going after the Macedonians is not going to be too hard. They've just got these two original provinces, Sparta, only in control of Larissa and Sparta itself. Um, I'm thinking about raising an army down here in North Africa, maybe two, to go after the Seleucids. And then we can go after them up here. Uh, Nassos right now hasn't declared war on me. I don't know if they're going to try and backstab me or not. From a more zoomed out perspective, um, Spain still seems to be alright with me too. So let's take a look at the diplomatic picture momentarily. Which should still just be everybody hating on me. With no real surprise. Oh, the Seleucids are at war with me now too. I didn't know that. So I most definitely need to train an army in North Africa. Because the Seleucids could attack me and may already be about to do so. Ooh, there is a Seleucid transport fleet there on Rohard. I've already got an agent down here, so this will be a great place to raise an army in Lepsis. It's slightly back, which should give me some time to build it up. I've got a Barkid general there. So let's take him. Yeah, we'll raise an army with him. Elephant general, of course. Put this agent in here. Start military training, and then let's start recruiting troops. Against the Seleucids, I'm still going to go with Libyan infantry for the most part, so we'll start off by recruiting three of them, and start building a North African army. Okay. It might benefit me. Wow, Athens is just like destroyed. Uh, I'm not even going to have enough money to repair the whole city because it's so destroyed. Their agents being around is not going to help. Apollonia is still just stuck in limbo because of the number of agents and I don't have enough money to take out all their agents. I think one good thing we could do, a lot of these agents, well there's some Spartan agents, some Athenian agents. I think the Athenians are all but dead to be honest. Let's take these guys and march on Pella. Alright. So I think it's time to take Pella from the Macedonians. They have lots of archers and... Let's see. Peltist. I'm trying to see if they have a lot of foot companions. They have one foot companion there. Another here. Well, it could be a shield bearer. I can't tell. But... I think we should be good here. We've got Ballista. I shouldn't need ladders even. Let's go ahead and assault Pella. Carthaginians happen to get their siege on here. I do believe those are foot companions. Which are fairly tough in just about any setting. I do have four Libyan infantry though. Those guys are going to pack a wallop. Um, this army's not spectacular, but it'll get the job done. And really just need to, to put down these Greek state so that I can stabilize this area a little bit. I'm worried about the Seleucids making a hard push on me while I'm in the middle of trying to finish them off. Let's take a look at Pella. Interesting layout here. Not really a good attacking side there. This would be much preferable. Of course it has a gatehouse in the way unfortunately. I'd have to waste ammo getting rid of a gatehouse. Same thing here. 
I don't like wasting my ammo on the gatehouse. But... I'd really rather just punch through the walls somewhere and run my guys through the walls. I think what I'm going to do is actually deploy down here where there's fewer towers and stuff to mess with me. I'll bring my ladders over here if needed. And I'm just going to have all these units drop the ladders because they're not needed right now. Got my elephants just in case I need to do some urban raffle stomping. Okay. Ballista. I take them off fire at will. Let's start the battle. I think I'm just gonna focus right here on this narrow gap. Enemy reinforcements approaching. Some enemy reinforcements coming by sea. They've left a number of defenders on different walls. Our general is under attack! Oh no, they have some uh, bastion. Siege equipment. Are generals under attack? Oh, it must be the siege equipment that's firing at him. Oh, indeed. There it is right there. They have a Bastion Ballista. Um, I'll see if I can take it out with one of my Ballista. I just want to move my Ballista up to get some better shots. I'm going to move my War Elephants clear back here, hopefully outside of Ballista range. Ha! <laughs> my infantry just getting raffle stomped by my own elephants. Fortunately, it's not killing them. You can hear that Bastion Ballista shot actually landing near there. Now it looks like they're going to change their fire to my own Ballista. I'm almost in position to fire back. I don't expect that one unit will cause me a whole lot of grief. for now. This is damaged by artillery taking fire. Yeah, one of my one of my ballistas actually did get destroyed there. Which means I lose the ammo too, I think, which is bad. So we might want to take out that Bastion Ballista right now. So I'll just go ahead and return fire before it does any more damage. Let's see if we're able to get it. Yep. One hit there. Another hit. Okay, their Bastion Ballista is gone, so no more wasted ammo. Let's take out the walls. It's most important for me to have a, a breach in the walls. Okay. Not the best shots I've ever seen. Some of them went over the top. All I need is a hole, though, to get in. Not particularly worried about it. Macedon, Macedon, how you will fall. The walls are breached! Okay, so now... I think I'm actually going to target the tower. I don't think the Macedonians have enough troops over here to really keep me from getting through those walls. So I'm just gonna, like I said, I'm gonna target my units on those towers. started on that tower. Alright, let's go ahead and fast forward. Looks like they're putting some units up here on the wall, some slingers on the wall, to try and defend against my my men who are about to come through the breach. Siege tower is up to 90% damage. The enemy's tower has been destroyed. And now I'll attack this fort wall here. All my troops are running forward. A lot of them are still hidden though while they're running forward, so it, it makes me wonder if the Macedonians don't know that I'm my entire army is over here. Because if they don't get their guys down to stop me from coming through this wall, then they're going to be in some big trouble. This wall is now taking damage to where their slingers are at. So I'm actually going to have two breaches to run through by the time my men get there. So this ought to go very well. I'm going to walk my elephants up and try and get, to this, uh, get them into this fight also. I know these siege battles take a while. I'll do my best to keep you entertained. I know that not every moment of it is just like exciting action. Kind of cool 
Solo watching from the distance as the enemy wall gets destroyed. We should go into unit camp here. Approaching the walls of Pella. Once was the glory of Macedon, now under siege by the might of Carthage. I would have made peace with them. Oh yeah, it is the walls falling down that makes a lag, I guess. I would have been their ally, but alas, they would not have it. So here comes my men, now under slinger fire, also pretty cool. Oh man, that's awesome. I love unit camp. Okay, alright. Let's get my men inside the walls. Ah, that didn't really do me a good, a lot of good to break that wall. I don't need to honestly probably use my ballistas anymore because breaking these walls won't do me any good. I'm just gonna halt them so I don't hit my own men. There's a Bastion Scorpion right there. Not concerned about it either. Let's see if I can use my javelins real quick to put some herd down on these guys. Alright, so my men are breaching Pella. This is cool looking. Man, you gotta like this. I know I sure do. Is my men breaching the walls of Pella? Oh, that's awesome. Love it, love it, love it. The campaign in this game really is great. Could it be better? Sure. I mean, there's still some little glitches and stuff like that. And I, I, I know there's a lot of people that don't like this game. That's fine. I'm not forcing you to, but man, I am enjoying the crap out of campaign right now. I mean, it is fantastic. Okay, pushing back those peltists. Alright, so let's find where the victory points are. There's one right here, and another up there, so all I need is two of them. So this, oh, there's another right there as well. Victory points ought to be relatively easy for me to secure. Just trying to hit these archers with my peltists, but they act like they don't want to... Looks like they don't want to shoot at them right here. And those archers are shooting flaming arrows, so I'm a little remiss to bring my elephants any closer. Okay, we've gotten rid of those peltists. Let's move up. Okay. Dealing some damage to those archers now. Still worried they could run my general amok, so I'm gonna keep my distance until I feel a little safer. Look at these uh, javelin men. This guy's name is Hilarion. Like, it's hilarious to think that he thought he could uh, stand here and fight all these Libyan infantry. So he's gonna get taken out. More javelin men up the way. It would really be helpful here if I had artillery, but the AI is making, again, a big mistake by putting its javelins on flaming mode, um, which is potentially going to morale damage their own men if they hit their own men. It's also going to be bad in the sense that it cuts their... Um, see, this javelin unit right here is throwing regular javelins. That is bad. Because um, with this many javelins, they could cause a pretty serious amount of damage. I'm trying to get attack orders in here. It's kind of hard because... It's a little bit laggy with all this stuff jammed in the streets. Got some Thurio Spears, Levy Pikemen, other stuff coming that direction. The only reason I'm charging forward still here is because I don't want all these archers and javelin men just getting free reign on me. There's some mercenary Thracian cab that's dismounted here that I'm going after. Oh, there's some foot companions down here as well. Alright, I've got some Thurio Spears engaged here. Looks like the Macedonians are trying to come around this way as well. Let's take some swords in this direction. Some more hot whites right here. Some more hot whites here. I want to get my general in here to help use the scare effect. I think we've got those archers fairly well under control. I do want to take out those foot companions. And yeah, they're not in pike phalanx. Yeah, if these guys aren't in pike phalanx, I'm going to take them now with this Libyan infantry. Oh no, they're in pike phalanx. Don't want that fight. I guess the AI uh, 
figured that out. Wow, there is javelins just raining in like crazy over here. Flaming javelins at that. Probably some arrows. I'm just gonna throw everything I can right here at this spot for the moment. Trying to ignore these foot companions. I don't want to get tied down there, so I'm gonna take these infantry around. And then I'm gonna leave this one unit here though to threaten this foot companion. In fact, I'll leave another unit here to threaten it from both flanks. Got these slingers. There's a militia hoplite there. So my units in this big grind fight over here are actually not gonna be in the best position. Probably wasn't the smartest move for me because there's pikes in here. And I could potentially just get slain here. Lucky they're not firing at my elephants. Uh, you know what? Let's bring my general into the back of these foot companions. I've got to get these reinforcements through here as soon as I can, but there's militia hoplites there, and that's going to take a minute to break. My troops over here are in some pretty serious trouble. I'm actually going to pull these Libyan infantry out of that fight if I can. Let my pikes and hoplites take that fight. All right, that foot companion's going to just get dis Whoa, should be getting just destroyed by my elephants, but my elephants... Lost a couple of men there, too. It is getting destroyed. Uh, my general's taking some pretty hefty damage there, though. So I'm actually going to pull him back to safety. Okay, but whatever. We got rid of that foot companion. Those militia hoplites still back here wavering. Okay, I've got... I've saved a bunch of my Libyan infantry uh, who were in that fight that I didn't really want to die. I've now got mostly pikes and uh, hoplites in this fight up here. Which I'm a little less concerned about. Because they have higher defense. And we're going to break through these militia hoplites over here that are now wavering. It could have been those arrow towers that were taken down my general. Again, just want to remove him to safety. Don't want him to run amok. These archers still have ammunition, even though my javelin men are out. So I'm going to click a melee attack order and see if I can get on the wall and take those guys out. Okay, finally I can bring reinforcements into the back of this blob. There's even more Macedonian troops back here, though. I really wish I had a way to get around all of this blob. I've only got one Libyan infantry over unit, unit over here as well, and that's really the kind of units that I need. I might take this one this way. These guys are just sitting here getting shot by flaming arrows coming from up here. Let's move them to where that's a little harder to get. Those levy pikes are going to be in flank, so let's ignore them with the first unit. Because we are going to need to get them to show their flank. Alright, those guys just showed their flank. AI is pretty good about changing its attack orders with pikes most of the time. But right here, they didn't get it. So my Libyan infantry are going to crash those guys, just absolutely throttle them. And I've got men towards the back of that fight now. I do need my general to maybe do some morale work. I'm going to risk pulling him up here just to see if I can inspire my men. I uh, really need to cut through those pikemen faster. Got some Libyans coming around. So the Macedonians putting up a f uh, decent defense, and these streets being as cramped as they are is going to make the defense very difficult for me. Our missile's still in the area around my general, so this scares me a little. But I think the uh, scared from elephants penalty will help out. And those levy pikemen are dead. The men are wavering. Not a minute too late, too, because my men are getting pretty beleaguered in this fight. Alright, I've caught all these archers back here that were causing me so much grief. And now I'm in the back of this fight. There's some foot companions here that are going to really be held out. Hoplites, 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 foot companions, and there's still 125 of them. These archers are almost gone. Okay, I can now get this Libyan infantry into the back of these foot companions. I'm going to use the whip. Try 
and get a little extra punch out of my men there. All right, so here's my men. We've now got the Macedonians, which we're in a pretty good position now, completely surrounded. Some of my pikes are still alive, some of their men are still alive, but now we're going to see a chain route. The fear of the elephants and the being surrounded and cut down in numbers ought to do it. So actually a, a pretty tough defense there uh, in Pella, but we managed to break through it. It's a good thing I had as many troops as I did or else that may not have gone so well. Macedonians are gone. So ending the battle, Pella is now in our control. Wow, look at that, 408 kills for my African pikes. Good grief, that's awesome. One of my hoplites, 489 kills. A lot of kills. All right, so a major blow to Macedon, who now shouldn't be able to field any real resistance. Athens can no longer field any real resistance. Uh, Sparta is very, very close to being um, unable to field any resistance as well. So Pella is now mine. I have no money to do anything to its buildings. This, this is a real problem, like me not being able to get my cities back in order. It's definitely an issue. The problem is, is the Spartans have two cities left, and I can't take them out in one turn. If I could just get rid of Sparta, that would be a massive boost. Uh, because then all the agents and everything would be gone. So this army kind of needs to retrain. Yeah, Navy does. Let's go through the uh, go through the paces here. Upgrade my units and agents. Got an agent here that needs upgraded. I think it's a judge. So plus five avoiding enemy agents. That might be good. And plus five to critical success. Cunning. Let's start off with authority. Got a champion here. Gives more campaign movement. I don't really need. Coerce and threat of destruction. I use coercion a lot, so that might be helpful. The Leviathans appears. They have both a naval tradition. Let's see, plus four melee assault ship. Ooh, blockade runners, plus five ramming. And then the general or the admiral needs to be upgraded as well. I'm gonna go with plus one cunning. There's a Phoenicia. The general can be upgraded. I'm gonna go with cunning here as well because I can end up unlocking night battles, which some of you have asked for. They are pretty neat. Sacred Company has General, and I'll go with Strategist as well here. Okay, and then the Bane of Rome, which is the one that just took Pella. They have the Gallic Bard. I do like the Bard, but I don't see him here. Plus 10 from trade agreements faction-wide. Not real helpful because I don't have a whole lot of trade. Um, let's see, plus, well, this one gets plus five melee attack, battles against all Hellenic, Hellenic factions, which might be good because I have to fight against the Seleucids. And I'm going to put some strategy on him as well. All right, now we've got a good position as far as taking all their cities. The biggest problem we're going to have is taking out all these agents. We need to get rid of these agents quickly so that I can turn around the public order in these cities before we have, like, big revolts and a lot of other problems uh, on our hands. Plus chance of evading enemy agents. Poisoning and tempting. That's pretty cool. Okay. Alright. You know what? This army's got enough movement to take out Sparta. But this one wouldn't have enough movement to make it to Larissa. I'm very tempted, though, to just go hit Sparta. Really put the hurt on him. I'd like to extinct their faction. I just don't know if it's smart for me to spread out that much. Athens can... Nah. I'll hold off for just a minute. Okay, let's go ahead and end this turn and see what happens. It was quite a turn. Very busy. Achievement unlocked. Console. Not sure what that's about. Iceni taking a long turn in here. I should have put the camera to where I could have seen something was going on in turn end because I can't see. I, I turned off my um, turn-in moves to try and make it faster. Macedon and all these con uh, all these factions with a lot of agents. Ooh, let's see. Athens coming after me. I believe this is in Pella, so they're coming to try and avenge Pella. Um, I don't really feel like doing a siege battle, so I'm just going to auto-resolve. And I've got really good chances here. Do the one that saves as many of my men as I can. 
hopefully I don't lose too terribly many units here. I could. That's the risk of me doing that. Oh, didn't lose any. Good. Seleucids. They are going to be a huge faction to take down, and we're going to have to take them down from multiple prongs at once, I think. Because the Seleucids look like they're spread all over the east, and they're going to have a lot of satrapies and a lot of help. So that is part of the reason why I kind of wanted to subjugate a faction like Sparta to help me out with that. To be honest, um, so Pella, Athens, Athens, enemy wounded at Remnum, Apollonia, one of my veterans died. It was my really high level one, he was pretty old yes. anyway. Oh, okay, so Apollonia is still unable to repair for whatever reason. Probably because of all the enemy agent effects. There's one enemy agent left up there at the moment. The Nasamone is having an agent there. Okay, lots of enemy agents outside of outside of uh, Athens. So Athens is now going to be in the same crappy boat um, as some of these other cities. Pella actually did all right. Um, let's tear that down. Tear that down. And change that into Hosodril's barracks. Alright. This province is at least safe at the moment. So let's send this army to assault Larissa. It's not really the best army. I might recruit some uh, mercenaries. I'm not sure if I need them though, so I'm going to wait and see. Apollonia would be a lot happier if I could get rid of all these. Uh, or get all the buildings repaired. So that's really all I need there. These agents can, can come out here now. One of them can go back in this army. Military training. Okay, Neopolis is perfectly under control. So let's take this army back up here. I really wish I could broker some kind of deal with Nassos since they're to my north and they're out here on this island. Um, let's see if they have any common enemies. Not really. Let's see. Greetings. How bad do they do not waste me? time on ill-chosen words, although an hour or two bathing would have been useful. Okay, never mind. I'm not going to listen to that kind of crap. If Nosos wants a piece of me, they can have a piece of me. Telling me I need to take a bath. Good grief. All right, here we go. Let's keep recruiting down here for a potential army to go after the Seleucids in North Africa. So I've spent some money there. Let's spend some of our remaining money trying to get rid of some of these relentless enemy agents. Hercules has nothing on me. At your service. I'm sure he doesn't, my friend. Um, let's look and see who's got a pretty good manipulation attempt we do right here. Upon so let's see if we can coerce another enemy agent. I just figure, you know, like rather than assassinating these people, why not turn them into my cause? Enemy agent was hindered. Succeeding is what I How can I serve the people? Try another coercion. Enemy agent hindered again. I am the champion of the gods. Even better chance of coercion. And everybody just hindered them. It is an honor to oh, This guy doesn't have a good chance at much of anything, but hey, let's try it. Nope, you got wounded in the process. Fantastic. Well, I tried. I really did. Um, let's see, what's this agent here? I actually want to bring this agent and try and get some military training in on this army. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, take Sparta, because the Spartans look like they're trying to rebuild here. This army got some good retraining in over the end of that turn. There's going to be a revolt, though, in Pella. Probably. I can't seem to calm this place down quickly enough because of all the subversion going on by enemy agents. It's going to be a big issue. This is going to be the best way to get rid of the Spartans, though, is to just take them out. And then I can get rid of all their agents that are subverting me. So, let's see. Perioikoi pikemen, mercenary hoplites. Perioikoi hoplites. Perioikoi pikemen. What do I have? Lots of swords and ballista. I'm feeling... Ooh, and elephants. Yeah, I'm feeling plenty, plenty good about this particular fight. So let's take it. 
This will probably be the last fight in this episode as well. All right. Oh, they uh, actually sallied out. I don't think that was a smart move by them, because I think I'll do better on open ground than they will. Plus, if they sallied towards me, that means that I might be able to take a really good hill position. I think that's what I'll try and do. I have to assault them. I still kind of want to come from this direction. Because I don't want to just go straight up this hill over here. I want to... I don't know what I want to do yet, but I'm going to figure it out. We will see whether the Spartans march out, or whether they stay top of that hill. Either way, I have Ballista. Should be able to tempt them into attacking me. And I've got elephants as well. Not the world's greatest because they're just the African elephants, but they should be fairly potent. Okay, looks like the Spartans making some moves. Uh, my main target for Ballista is going to be Royal Spartans. Um, obviously because they can put up the most fight. Periwinkle pikemen concern me a little. But with all of my different units, I'm pretty sure I have the tools to handle them. But uh, definitely going to go for some Royal Spartans first. I am in Ballista range. Though I'm not quite as close as I'd like to be. And it looks like the AI is going to just stay on their hill. That's probably the smartest thing for them to do anyway. I'm going to take these elephants wide. Okay, sorry, let me just fast forward for a second. Just trying to get all my troops in a position I'm happy with. I want to get my ballista well within range. That way my shots will hopefully be a little more accurate. Looks like the AI is kind of repositioning a little, nothing too severe. Okay, I think we're in a position to try and take out these Royal Spartans. And I do have an Arc of Fire. Sweet, got some good kills right there. Ooh. More kills on that Royal Spartan too. Good, good. Okay, that has made the AI kind of mad. Apparently they don't like getting the Royal Spartans peppered with um pike shots. Okay, I'm gonna try and position my men on tops of these hills. So as to give them the best possible chances. Okay, all their skirmishers are going to want to fire on me now, actually, so... That's not good, actually, because they have a lot of helot archers, peltist, slingers. Um, I'm going to need to just engage. Not exactly what I want to do, but... That's what I'm going to do. Because I can't just sit here and take this missile fire either. Hopefully this assault isn't too foolhardy. Okay, the AI is pulling back a little right now. Oh, if I engage on that kind of slope, though, that's not going to be good. I'm gonna run away for just a second. Try and take out some more of these periwinkle pikemen. Okay, the AI actually wants to take this fight here. 
and then come down a little bit right here to where it might be able to get a decent position on him. Flanks. We are at your command. Let's get these elephants in here. We await your order. For all of the glory. Libyan infantry. You guys are a little bunched up Ready here. Order. For the glory. Elephants ready for battle. Take out that skirmisher cab real quick with my elephants, and then get into the back of this blob. One of our units has used all its ammunition. I think my swords are doing alright. I don't know. This place is a serious mess right now. So my cab got into it with its spear unit here. It's not good. Disengage, come this way. See if I can help my men in this fight. Okay, my elephants got in here and did some serious damage. I'm gonna keep them moving. Yeah, this Spartan blob right there is now going to be in very bad shape. Did I dismount my general? Let's go hit these skirmisher cab from behind. Okay, sweet. I think we're going to actually pull this off. That spear unit still after my cav. This melee blob here is going to need some help. So the Spartan pikemen just weren't able to hold out in the center, which really worked to my favor. All the enemy skirmishers over there. Crap. Those spears are just like bound and determined to get my horsemen. They're doing quite well at it. back up here. Okay, let's get into the back of these pikemen. Got a good hammer and anvil. Those periodically hoplites are gone now. I'm impressed with how long my hoplites can hold out in a fight. The battle is turning in our favor. It's definitely a nice characteristic. Even those royal Spartans are now wavering. Yeah. Okay. Good. So that's a that was a pretty crushing defeat for the Spartans. So yeah, that really worked out well. Fantastic. Better than I thought, even. I, their infantry units in the center just got clobbered by my Libyans. And then my some of my hoplites didn't necessarily get all that many kills, but they just held and held until I was able to get a rear charge in there and, and accomplish what I needed to. So that was really a, a pretty good turnout, all things considered, I thought. Because the Spartans did have a lot of capable infantry. So there we go. That was Sparta. <laughs> not anymore. Um... Again, hoped I could have subjugated those guys, but I'm not really going to get the option at this point. And then this army can take out Larissa on the next turn. Not enough movement points to do so now. Things are a little bit crazy. Um, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, upset provinces at this point. If we put down rebellions one by one, though, should be able to handle it. Sparta has one province left. Athens is without a province. And I think as soon as I can sink that fleet... Um, Athens will be out of the picture. If that's the case, man, that would be huge. And then Macedon has one more province up here at uh, Pulp Pulpudeva, uh, Pulp Pulp however you say that. And um, once we get them, we should be in good shape. Anyway, that's going to be all for this particular episode. Heir of Carthage, signing off for now. Get ready for all the public unrest uh, in the next episode.